Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidMotorX.com. Many of you guys have been requesting that I do a video on how to uh, revert the Galaxy S4 on Verizon to stock factory settings. The easiest way to do that is to flash a stock image in Odin. Now I will provide a link in the description for the Verizon version of the Odin file. The method will be the same across all variants of the Galaxy S4. Uh, the only difference would be the actual file that you use. It's very simple if you've ever used Odin to flash your uh, phone back to stock this will be very familiar to you. So the first thing we want to do is place our phone in download mode. Um, also before we get started I should mention that this will unroot your phone, this will relock your bootloader, this will uh, bring your phone back to factory settings as if you just pulled it out of the box. So this would be great for anyone that's looking to return their phone for warranty purposes. Uh, or anybody that's looking to sell their device. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get started. We'll power down our device. And to get into download mode, we're just going to press volume down and power at the same time. So, volume down and power. Okay, and it says volume up to continue. From there we can go ahead and plug in our device to the USB cable. Okay, so you're going to need Odin installed. It's really just an EXE file here. And then you're going to need this SCH i545 stock restore tar. And like I said, I will provide the link for this file in the description. It's a 2 gigabyte file, so it's going to take a while to download. Just be patient. It took me probably two hours to download. The server that it was on was kind of slow, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up Odin. And we'll select PDA. And we'll go and find that file. So it was in the Odin folder on the desktop. Let's see here. There's our file. So we'll go ahead and open that. And then we'll go ahead and click the start button. Now this may take quite a bit of time. It's probably going to take up to 15 minutes. So we will just kind of leave this alone and I'll come back to it as soon as it's finished. So it unzipped the file and then it began to flash the stock restore file. And as you guys can see, it's moving very slow. Uh, so far it's boot, it's so far it's flashed the boot image recovery um, and the system is flashing now so that should probably take the longest so we'll just come back to this as soon as it's finished okay so as soon as it's finished flashing the stock image you're gonna see where it says reset it's gonna reboot your phone as soon as the phone boots up it we should get a pass in Odin so once it reboots you should see this screen where it's just updating the device itself when this finishes and it reboots again, we should see a pass, so we'll just wait for the pass. So here you can see that uh, our stock ROM is back on the Galaxy S4. Still says reset as soon as it boots into the OS, we should get a pass there. But anyways guys, we are now running a stock clean factory image on our Galaxy S4. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more coverage on the Galaxy S4, the HTC One, and other devices that I cover. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.